Hey Capricorn, welcome. It's Meredith. Thank you for tuning in. This is your monthly reading for May 2019. We are using Ape Coins Tattoo Tarot for your reading. I encourage you to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus videos. If you do not know where your signs are placed, uh, put your date, time, and place of birth into an astrology calculator online, and you'll get that information. Then check out your other videos. It'll give you the full picture of what's going on in the energy atmosphere for you in the month of May. So let's get into your reading. Your card from the bottom of the deck. This is an energy for you to explore, navigate, or it may be influencing the actions you take this month. And you have the Four of Wands. Beautiful card. What a lovely card to start out with. It's one of the happiest in the minor suits of tarot. Uh, it's called the Honeymoon card. So there's bliss and joy, connection, companionship, uh, beloved relationship here. It can be indicative of a um, an engagement or marriage, but it is about the deepening and expanding connections between you and those you love. All right, let's check out the rest of it. What does it go with? The sun. Wow. So this is lit by the sun. There's something really good going on for you, Capricorn. My feeling here, my guides are speaking up. Um, there's dynamic connection for you in a potential beloved relationship or in your current beloved relationship. Um, yeah, there is a deepening of emotion and feeling for someone that you love. My guides are saying they love you too. And you're feeling that. And you're allowing that. You're allowing that into your life. You're making more space for that. And it's really sweet and lovely. Oh, I have such a softness <laughs> as I look at these cards and this great big smile on the inside. Yeah, look, you have the fool next. This is um, taking a leap of faith. You know, the fool is unconcerned with consequences. And... That's really the beauty of it, too, because it feels as though there was too much concern for consequences based on prior life experience. And at some point, it becomes a tug of war within the self. Like, should I? Shouldn't I? I don't want to do this again. I don't want to repeat that again. I don't want to screw this up. I don't want them screwing anything up with me. Um, you know the ubiquitous they, whoever they are. <laughs> um, but at some point in that inner tug of war, you got to let go of the rope because how can you have a new experience if you're busy looking back at your old experience? So Capricorn, I feel like you've turned the light on within your own self. The universe is showing up and shining the light on this for you. And you have a sense of inner strength, calm, being self-assured, trusting your experience, and you're bringing all of that into a leap of faith with the fool toward beloved fulfillment. Mm. You know, and that started with you. It was learning how to love yourself first and best um, that even inspired you to finally let go of that rope and say, you know, I could, I could do this again. The universe has provided a very rich opportunity for me. And I do feel that here. I feel, Capricorn, that those of you in an existing relationship, maybe things kind of got stale and dull and boring and communication hasn't been so great or there's been some kind of distant, distance in your relationship and you can't, you can't linger there. And so this energy, the light of the sun is shining on that and there is a desire to expand in that and bring more of your spiritual consciousness to it so that you have a much more rewarding relationship. Then there are those of you who've not been in relationship for a while. You've sort of been in a healing phase from prior relationships, prior experiences. And this is where I feel it the most, where this inner tug of war has gone on. Should I? Shouldn't I? Um, and then the decision finally came to, you know what? I just have to drop the rope and take a leap of faith because 
this connection that I have with these people in my life, it feels too good and to withhold myself from them, to withhold um, my love is more painful <laughs> than not engaging. And so it's likely, Capricorn, you're going to see a shift and a change in all of your relationships, your friendships, your workmates, um, your family relationships, but most especially in beloved connection with someone. Okay. Taking a leap of faith there. Mm, and then you have the star. I love this. It looks like they've got one another's back. <laughs> The star is such a beautiful card. It comes after the tower. And in a traditional deck, you'll see a woman standing in the river of life, you know, and she's taking water out of the river of life. She's co-creating with the universe. It's a manifestation card. It's um, having the willingness to believe in the self um, and to co-create after the tower fell. So Capricorn, this this definitely aligns with what I was saying just moments ago about these cards that you know you weren't sure you wanted to wade into these waters again but now you're feeling pulled now you have a desire to actually go there and you've been co-creating with the universe saying you know what I'm not stepping in that river again <laughs> till I get right with my own heart space and it looks like you've achieved that now you're ready to step into it Mm, yes. Then we have the, what do we have here? Two, three, seven love wands. No. Is that a seven? That's not a seven. Six. <laughs> Roman numerals vex me sometimes. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, it's the nine. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, goodness. You know, I should recognize this card readily because it's shown up in almost every single reading. Um, and for the May readings, the Nine of Wands. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. Anyway, Nine of Wands, it's defensiveness. It's having a wall up. And um, it really is a card about endurance and resilience. And that's something that you had to foster for quite a long time. Now the question is, do I even need a wall? Do I need this boundary? Am I complete with it? Likely you are, but it's a 9, not a 10. So you're not totally finished with it. You still have a little bit of caution, a little bit of reserve, which is fine, but it's right underneath the sun. The sun is shining on the part of you that's still withholding. And you'll recognize that with loving kindness and compassion for your own self. And as you recognize it, You'll begin to let this go. You will see that there's no need for it any longer. And look at that. Because you have the Ace of Cups. This is a divine and cosmic gift of love on offer to you from the universe, from the all that is. And this feels like a dream come true in an answered prayer, actually. Um, this comes back to what these cards were saying moments ago about not stepping into the river of life, the flow of life, until you could get right in your own heart space. And you took, you took the period of experience to do that for yourself, loving yourself first, Ace of Cups. Um, now you can give from the overfl overflow. So not only are you standing in the river flow of life, co-creating this beautiful relationship to self, you now have something to offer someone else and for the first time in a long time, you're ready to offer it. That is really beautiful, Capricorn. And then the Hierophant. Oh, excellent. Wow. Leave some comments this month, Capricorn. Um, tell us about this journey and what it took to get you here. Because these cards are beautiful. The Hierophant, this is expansion. This is connection in beloved relationship, this is a card of um, marriage even, which you don't have to take literally. Just take marriage to, you know, a deepening, a bond that is deepening. Really sweet. There's also a lot of study and education on this card too. And that's something that you likely did 
in this period of time where you were working on your own heart space. So the Hierophant is representative of your, um, like I'd say, self-sovereignty. And they tell me you will know exactly what that means. <laughs> Yeah, you can take those words at face value, but my guides are saying you're going to take them much deeper. Self-sovereignty -sovereign over here is beautiful. And it does give you now something to offer that you were not willing to offer before. There was just not enough energy left in reserve in your tank to even offer it up. But now it's overflowing, Ace of Cups. So beautiful. All right, Capricorn, we're going to move on to the Whispers of Love Oracle cards for a love message for you for the month of May. You get... Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Yeah. You may not have had the energy for that for a while, and now you're overflowing with it. <laughs> and likely you have a lot of random acts of kindness coming at you, too, and that's, that's fantastic. Okay, next. Angel Answers, this is your opportunity to ask a question, so please do. What does Capricorn most need to know for the month of May? What are the highest and greatest cards? Be assertive, yes. Be assertive with your sharing, with what you have to offer. Be assertive even with your own self on this Nine of Wands. I'm still laughing that I couldn't recognize the card. Uh, be assertive with yourself to recognize why that wall is there uh, and consider, you know, if it still has a place for you anymore. Next one. Let go. Yeah. Yeah. Let go and go with the flow. <laughs> Get into that river and stay there. And then, no need to worry. No. Those days are behind you. That's what that feels like. It's all behind you now. It's a whole new experience. All right, last card. Comes from the universe has your back. You could use this as an affirmation through the month if you like. When I am in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Perfect. Yeah, Capricorn, you are firmly rooted and centered in your own heart space. You cannot be disrupted from that, that experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe here on the channel. Don't forget to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus videos. If you would like your own personal reading, check the description box. Thank you again for watching. Bye for now, Capricorn.